Hi, I'm Lisa from Lori's Country Cottage. Welcome to How Tuesday. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the Simplicity Sidewinder Bobbin Winder. Let's talk about the Simplicity Sidewinder Bobbin Winder. Why would you even want a bobbin winder? Well, it is really convenient to have a bobbin winder so that you don't need to unthread your machine to wind a bobbin. On our domestic machines, my machine, for example, has a bobbin sensor and it warns me when I have about six feet worth of quilting or stitching to go. And then I need to wind a bobbin. And in order to do that, I need to unthread my machine and then stop and wind a bobbin. With the side winder bobbin winder, if I have a second spool of thread, I can wind a bobbin while I'm stitching. This is especially convenient for machine embroiderers. While your machine is stitching, you can wind a bobbin for that matching thread color. So the Simplicity Sidewinder Bobbin Winder comes in a nice little case. It is battery operated if you like, if you're going to a retreat or going away, or it does have a handy plug-in. I love the little carrying handle. It's like a little suitcase. You just pop it open and there's your sidewinder. Let's zoom in and I'll show you how it works. All right, here's the sidewinder. All you need to do to make it work is to pull up the thread pin so you can put your spool on. I use Aurifil thread, so I've got my Aurifil thread spool on there, but you can use Guterman or whatever. Thread it through the little loop, pass it around the tension disc, and then off towards your, bobbin, your bobbin. We'll talk about bobbins in a bit. Take the end of your thread and feed it through the hole of your bobbin. Easier said than done. There we go. Now there's a little spring on this post where your bobbin goes. And I found with these bobbins, all I had to do was just kind of press tightly and it will pop on. Some bobbins will have a groove and that groove will need to line up with that metal pin so that it spring loads it in. Take this switch and push it in so that that is in between the two layers of your bobbin. And then all you have to do is hit the on button. If you hold tightly to the thread, it'll break off. If you want to stop your bobbin winding for any reason, all you have to do is flick that switch. Hitting the red button will not stop it. And to start it again, put this inside and hit on. It will automatically stop when your bobbin is completely full. Just like that. Flick it to the off position, cut your thread and pop your bobbin off. And you have a fully wound bobbin. Thanks for joining me for How Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed learning how the bobbin winder works. I can see how it will be so useful for my embroidery machine, my machine that uses the bobbins that don't have a top or a bottom. Remember, if your bobbins have to go in a certain direction, top side up, your bobbin needs to have that bobbin thread come off in the direction of a nine or a G to use the bobbin winder. Thanks for joining me today.